guys so this is going to be my glam polish black friday haul so if you'd like to see stick around and i'll get right into it okay so this was glam polish's fifth year anniversary collection i believe um she did it after i'm pretty sure harry potter um some of these i'm not gonna pronounce correctly i already know it i don't care i don't know anything about harry potter but these colors i love with the exception of the last two uh the first to the last is her black friday exclusive where if you ordered over a hundred dollars you got or sixty dollars i think and if you were one of the first 100 you received this polish second one it was a glam polish facebook um fan page whatever so let's go ahead and get started and these first four are kind of what i had hoped the ponyville confidential or the made in manhattan was going to be but much better so she really executed these ones perfectly first one up is going to be stupefy and it's a very pretty um, purple with this pink to gold shifting shimmer. And it's on the brush and I'll get a focus. There we go. And I'll get a focus. <laughs> All right. So there it is on the brush. And let's go ahead and give Stupefy a swatch. Okay, guys. So here's one coat of Stupefy. And it is slightly sheer on this first coat, but it has a great formula. Okay, so that was one coat of Stupefy. I'll be right okay, back. so I'm sorry. I did. I got interrupted. I don't remember what I was saying last. But anyway, we're going to move on. <laughs> so this next one here is similar to the Manhattan collection, but it's darker. Uh, so here's the anniversary one and here's the main in Manhattan only problem with the main in Manhattan is that shimmer is barely visible so this one here is called uh, Alohomora hmm. it's actually one of the names that I like um, and this is a mint with the pink to gold shifting shimmer. In some angles, it actually looks quite red. This is going to be the same as the purple where it's in a cream base. Okay, so there was the brush. And here is one swatch of Aloha Mora. Nice formula. Again, as usual, glam polishes are usually, in my opinion, one of the best. Next up, we have, I don't even know how to say this, Expelliarmus, Pfft, whatever. <laughs> read it, guys, read it. If you like Harry Potter, you're going to know how to pronounce it. Um, but this is a, I want to say like a cornflower blue with the gold to pink, pink to gold shifting shimmer. I'm still stuck over all of my words, so please forgive me. Here's the brush shot. Okay. And here is one coat of Expel whatever. And those three, they actually look really pretty together as one coat. Um, mm -hmm. That's, yeah, like nice and washed out and just makes me think of spring. Next up we have, I'm guessing it's just ridiculous. And this is a gray with the pink to gold shifting shimmer. It's very pretty, very pretty. 
And then this is the last of this type of polish in the collection. Okay, so here is one coat of Ridiculous. Is it Ridiculous or Ridiculous? I don't know. Because sometimes even when I say the normal word Ridiculous, I say it's Ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's me. I'm a goof. So, yeah. Next up, when I actually got these red polishes in the collection i actually thought i was going to de-stash them right away but not so much i'm gonna at least wear them first to see but they're very pretty on the nail this one here is impedimenta and it is a burgundy and it's got that pink and gold shifty shimmer you're not going to see the pink so much in here um, because the base kind of washes it away, um, so to say, but it's in there. Oh, this is actually a purple base. So see, these are very difficult, these reddish colored ones. They're very difficult to say what color they are exactly, because this is like a purpled base. This one here may just might kick OPI's uh, chemistry out of the out of my stash because this they're very similar. OPI is just a tad bit darker, but the shimmer doesn't show as much. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try and wear chemistry first and then we'll see. And this one here is uh lumos maxima i guess and this is a purple <laughs> with those same shimmers and you can see it's kind of like um a multi-chrome too it's got gold and green towards the sides there and i don't know why i'm getting such a such like a a, a haze to this on the bottles but here again, it's a purple base. At least I think that other one was the one that was kicking chemistry out. I don't know. We'll see. But here is Lumos Maxima. This one's a little bit more tricky because I think I wiped too much off the brush. So that one's not looking as good. Next up is another one of those reds, and it's Incendio. And again, it's got the same shimmers. It's got the color shift. Oops, sorry, guys. Um, so it's going to go from that red to green to gold also slightly. Um, I can't capture it on here right now like I did on the other one. But it will go to that red to green. But it still has that pink shifting shimmer. And it's just looking primarily gold, but that's what's giving it so much dimension. So here is one coat of, what did I call it? Incendio? <laughs> and what's making these polishes so pretty is the fact that they're jelly bases. So all of the shimmer, I mean, minus the four creams in the beginning, so that's why the shimmer is standing out so well. Next one up is my favorite, my absolute top dog favorite of the collection. And it's called Expecto Patronum, I guess, whatever. This is actually a teal base and you'll see when I put it down. And it's got those same shimmers and it's got that multi-chrome going on to it also my absolute favorite and you can see that it is actually teal and it's just it's just stunning guys if you guys have the opportunity to be able to pick any of these up i absolutely 130,000 percent recommend this one and you absolutely can't go wrong with either of those four creams in the beginning either um, so if you can't make up your mind, like, I mean, that gray is just gorgeous. So 
I just, and I think the gray is what sold me, really. Um, but yeah, I just, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no words, no words. Last up is the final red. Um, and I kind of broke the reds up. This is an actual red where the others looked red in the bottle. They were more of purple. This one is an actual red. And this one is Wingardium Leviosa. And this is a red with the gold and pink shimmer in it. And this one, oh, this one comes close to knocking something off of the, out of my stash too. And I don't know what at the moment. I don't remember what it was. But there it is on the brush. And this one is beautiful too. I mean, it's a red. It's pretty. But I don't know if I'm going to like it once I wear it. Just because I'm not I'm not a red person. Maybe the fact that this base is still kind of like berry toned. And not actually red red. Might be okay. But I, I don't know. Okay. So next up is the Black Friday. If you spent... I'm pretty sure it was $60. If you spent the $60, you got, um, oh, and by the way, none of those from the collection there were hollow. Um, so back to this. If you spent $60 U.S. order, um, you received a mystery bonus. I have to say that for how pretty it is, I'm not impressed. I really thought that this was going to go above and beyond and be something like, wow. But it's still pretty. It's still a color I don't have in my collection. Um, I'm just a little bit underwhelmed from it. And this is Go Big or Go Home, Black Friday 2017. And I'm going to shine a light on it also. Because what it is, is it's this pinky purple and it's got a linear hollow and it's got a scattered hollow but I also want to say that it has I don't know I want to say that that's it I almost want to say that it's gold hollow instead of silver but I'm not 100% sure on that. I do have it swatched. I mean, there's so much going on that you just really can't tell. But it kind of looks gold to me. This one does dry, again, a little bit textured because it has the micro glitter in it also. Um, great formula. I'm not complaining about it. Um, it's pretty much on that a one coater. I'm just disappointed. I thought for sure Glam was going to go uh, above and beyond and make something completely spectacular. But again, that's very, very pretty. So this I ordered from their Glam fan page off of Facebook. I had asked Pretty Perfect Polish to create me a quote unquote rainbow bridge polish and name it Donner since I was having such a hard time finding a polish named Donner um, previous to Polish for Days coming out with the Reindeer Collection. Um, this is basically what I had in mind when I had told her um, and this came out after I had told her also and she did go ahead and make one. I'm not 100% sure the fate of Pretty Perfect Polish right now. Um, I know she's not been doing as well as she would have liked to. Um, so I think she's going on a hiatus. She did create me a polish and name it Donner. I don't know when or if I'll be receiving that. So um, I am glad I picked this up because it's kind of similar. It's a linear hollow, but then it has the ultra chrome flakies in there also um hers was very pretty hers was a little bit um of a smoother formula i believe like this is chunky hers was and she used the ultra hollow um pigment so 
I mean, I don't care. Either way, I'm going to love it. Either way. But this was basically it in a nutshell. Um, I think this has some blue. It might just be the ultra chrome flakies, but it looked like there was a blue shimmer in there too. But I think it's the, the flakies. This one has the most perfect name also. <laughs> Like, I couldn't believe it. When I saw the polish, I liked it naturally because it was a blue. And I was thinking, oh, my God, that's exactly what I wanted. Because I just wanted blue with, because I love blue. Blue for a boy. Donner was a boy. Um, the sky. And then the ultra chrome flakies for the rainbow. And how beautiful, you know, you imagine rainbow bridge to be but then I saw the name of this and it's called somewhere over the rainbow and you know I just had to have it and here it is so let's go ahead and swatch it this is going to become one of my most coveted polishes and I am getting a little teary-eyed here because I said Donner was my boy so so here is one coat of Over the Rainbow. And I'm sorry it went blurry. It's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I mean, it really is. I I've, can't say anything else about it. It's friggin' gorgeous. I hope I do get pretty perfect polishes because it's so pretty also. We'll have to see what happens there. I'm going to pause you and put a second coat on and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are all going to look a lot more vibrant if you put a top coat on them, naturally. Um, and I don't even know the names of these no more. <laughs> so here is <laughs> two coats of Stupefy. And here is two coats of Alohomora. Well, I always want to say Aloha Rama. <laughs> so I always stutter with that one. This next one is something I can't pronounce. Expel something. This is the one. That is this one. This one here is ridiculous. And again, that shimmer is going to show up so much better with the top coat being on it i have swatched these before and i actually added top coat so i do know this for a fact uh this next one here is impedimenta and think of opis under the chemistry on crack and this one here tossed out i knew there was another one this one here tossed out opis northern lights this one here is Lumos Maxima. This is what I wanted Northern Lights to be. And it wasn't. Next one up is Incendio. Very beautiful color. Now, this one here is my favorite. I would actually recommend three coats. Um, this is Expecto Patronum. I would put three coats. This is only two. Uh, this one here is the Wingardium Leviosa. And I'm sure this will kick something out of my collection also. Not sure what yet. This is the Black Friday Polish. Go big or go home. And here is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Just beautiful. And I'm actually going to show you two, um, the two stamping plates that I picked up also. These are from Lena. Um, I didn't use the discount code because I ordered one that was new and it wasn't eligible. So this is the Autumn 02. This is Four Seasons Autumn 02. I'm going a little closer so you could see those images. So basically the reason I purchased this plate here 
is for this image. And I also really like these leaves. I'm not so much into these smaller ones. However, I like leaves. I do like fall leaves, and I'm not sure I have any plates that had larger fall leaves. I also didn't have any that had nice looking turkeys. So, and snowflakes. I don't think snowflakes has, um, whatever. I love snowflakes. I just don't know that I like them on an autumn plate. Um, turkeys. These turkeys were nice right here. I thought they looked really nice. I love these pumpkins, these leaves with the autumn. Um, like I said, I like, I like fall leaves. These are cute. These are cute. Um, the stumps, I think the stumps are really cute. These, I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. Uh, but corn kernels, maybe, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is really cute. Um, yeah, so that was the Four Seasons Autumn 02. And then the one that didn't allow me to get the um, code was this one here. Can't wait for Xmas. I don't like Xmas. I prefer Christmas. So can't wait for Christmas 02. And here's all the little itty bitty images. Down here, I like the Santa sleigh with the deer. Um, This tree is really pretty. This nice little scroll. Poinsettias. I love poinsettias and snowflakes. So there's real, some really nice poinsettia and snowflakes on here. Um, I like the Santa. Merry Christmas over here is really nice. Um, actually, there's just about everything on here I really like. Um, this image isn't my style. So I probably wouldn't use that all that much. Um, I guess it's Christmas cookies. Mm. These, I love these, the lights. And these snowflakes here are actually what's, I'm assuming they're snowflakes, but they are actually what's on my nails, that design. So that is that one. Oops, sorry. That is that one. I love the deer. And these trees. I just, I love it. And even this candy cane gift wrap type thing and the ho 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 is really cute even though I'd get like a ho and a half on my, on my nails <laughs> there's some fireworks for New Year's and a happy new year um, which is nice because I don't think I have anything that says new year happy new year <coughs> excuse me um, so yeah that is everything um, so far with my Black Friday haul I will Go ahead and create some more videos once I get more. I have my first ever pretty serious haul I'm not too fond of, but how could you pass up like $3? And I ordered two. Oh, excuse me. Did I see everybody ranting and raving about? I will talk about them when we get them. I also have some more from Bee's Knees Lacquer, um, which is a great brand new indie. Um, company, I wore House on Haunted Chill, and oh my god, it, it was the longest wearing polish that I've ever worn. Um, what else do I have? I have Enchanted's Mystery Black Friday polish coming. I have an order from ILMP. I have a fun lacquer order. Um, who else do I have? I think there's somebody else. I can't remember who at the moment. Um, yeah, I did. I bought, I bought quite a bit. And uh, now ILMP, I think there's only two or three fun. There's only two. Um, cause I want to recreate somebody's Manny that they made and I needed those two polishes to do it. Um, so yeah, this is it. This was the Glam's five-year anniversary collection. I do apologize to those of you who cannot get your hands on it anymore. Um, but if there's something you're interested in, keep an eye out on de-stashes because some may de-stash. This one here, I apologize as well. You probably will not be able to get this one as this was the Black Friday exclusive. And unless you are a member of the Glam fan club on Facebook, you won't be able to get the code to get this either. Um, 
Very simple. Just go on Facebook. Look up. Uh, I'll put the link to it down below so that you could just go there and join. If you're not already, there is a document in there that will give you the code for the month. Um, yeah. And that is it, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.